Ah, welcome back to Cooking with Papa Tuck and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. Today we're gonna do us up a special. We're gonna do some pea soup homemade, right from scratch. And we're gonna we're gonna do it up with the leftover ham that we made the other day. And uh, this process takes a little while because it takes about three to four hours to boil these uh, split peas down. Uh, I'll do a little bit quick. We'll make it happen fast. But we me get the binoculars on. I'll show you what we're gonna need here. Going down to the local store, I went down to Stop and Shop here on island, this beautiful island's Martha's Vineyard, and I got me some green split peas, okay? So you're gonna need a bag of those. I'll tell you what size it is. I don't ever look at that part of it. That's one pound. I got one pound going into this. I picked up some carrots. Picked up some of these really sweet petite carrots. They're little baby carrots. Wife calls them baby carrots. And uh, you're not gonna use all these. I'll use about a half of this package. And then I'm gonna put four potatoes into this and I got red potatoes I'm going to put into it. You're going to need a pair of pop a tuck force grips for dealing with the hot stuff, a knife of course, and a screwdriver. Oh no, not you don't need a screwdriver. Sorry about that. That's for the truck. <laughs> you're going to need a pan with a lid. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill this up with about two quarts of water, okay? And we're going to put the ham in there and start boiling the ham down and start getting the juices going. And that'll take about a half hour, okay? Now we're going to pull that ham bone out after the juices get into that water and I'm going to cut all the meat off it. Now we're going to get these split peas right into that water and boil and boil and boil and stir and stir. And you got to keep them stirred because they will stick to the bottom and they will burn and you do not want to burn the split pea soup, okay? And this recipe is in my cookbook cooking with Papa Tuck and you'll see that along with the Pumpkin Bunch book and the Outlaw Deer Hunter on my website at papabooks.net okay so you can go there view these uh, on my website and I will also take this out of the cookbook this recipe and I'll put it at my website so you can copy and paste okay so let me get that I put this over here out the way let's get the water going and uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, about two and a half quarts. It's going to take about two quarts to boil this down. I'm going to put an extra half in there because it's going to evaporate as we cook. Okay? So I'll stick about two and a half quarts of water in there. Pop a top. Measuring cup right here. We're just letting the tap run. Yeehaw! <laughs> How can you beat that? We're bringing this up about halfway. That's about two and a half quarts in this pan. So I know that from cooking in it a couple times. But we'll get that up. And I'm putting cold tap water in there. And then we're just going to throw this baby in. We're going to turn that stove on and uh, start cooking. Oh, by the way, over on the stove, wait to see these. Just took these out of the oven. And that's about enough to boil up our, boil up our juices. And I filled this up about two and a half quarts about there, okay? That's about two and a half popped up quarts. But I just pulled these babies out of the oven. And we did these on a prior show, okay? Look at that. These are homemade English muffins. And uh, this morning the kids had breakfast, but fried up some eggs on my new griddle that I got down to Shirley's Hardware. I don't know if the camera can take a peek at that. I gotta clean it yet, but we just, we just did uh, eggs on this thing over easy, put a little cheese on them after I flipped them, slit these babies in half. I cooked a little bit of leftover ham on the back side of this, cook the eggs on the front side, and we made some egg McMuffins, homemade right from scratch. Oh my God, did they go quick. They went quick. So let's put these over here, get them out of the way, and we're going to take a tuck four scripts, and we're going to get that bone right in there. This is just a leftover ham. Not going to do anything else with it. It's going right into that water. I'm going to take the leftover meat, scrape right in there. These will be our little juices. Okay. Put this into six so the wife can clean it. She loves me for that. We're going to take this leftover meat here, put in there. All right. And why aren't you going to take some of this gel flavor and put in here? Oh, there went a clove. Oh, I can smell that clove. And that's it. And that's going to be it. That's going to be our stock. A little bit of gel. And we're going to boil that right up. Now I'm going to get that going in about two minutes here. Put the scripts back over here. We're going to put this on the stove on high and bring it to a boil, okay? So let me get this stove on. 
All right. And we're going to put a top right on that. And I'll show you what I'm going to add to that here in a second. Okay. So let me cut these potatoes up. While that's coming up to a boil, I'm going to prep these potatoes and get them ready, okay? And we'll prep these carrots and get them ready. All I want to do with these potatoes, these are going to cook right down to nothing into this uh, pea soup. I'm going to cut that right in half like that, put them on the side so that I can handle them, okay? And all I want to do is dice these babies up about like that and like that. Just cube these things. That's all I'm after here. Because we're just going to boil these right into that broth. And these are actually going to boil right down to nothing as this baby cooks. Okay? My mama used to put the potatoes into this and she put the carrots into it. Now, my carrots, I'm not going to cut up. Because my wife does not like carrots like this. And she loves the pea soup. So, I'll leave them pretty much whole so that uh, she can pick those out. Like I say, uh, everybody in the family loves this split pea soup. All right, get that potato all cut up. We're going to put that right into the bowl. Just set this aside. Okay. Now don't forget the onion. Got a medium-sized Spanish onion, okay? Looks large, but it's a medium size. We're just going to take cut the ends of this baby off. And like I showed you in some previous shows, we're just going to take that knife and run around that onion like that. That's all there is to it. Just run it around. Be careful you don't get cut. And we're going to get the outside shell of this onion off, okay? Just like that. We're using this onion for flavor. The wife don't like onions. I don't know how many shows I've said this on. I think we're on number 38 show or whatever. I say it just about on every one of them. So we're going to take this onion and I'm putting this in whole. Now, Word to the wise, if you're cutting up onions for hot dogs or dicing them up or whatever, you take this onion at this point and you run some cold water. You run that thing under cold water, set it back on your meat board, take your knife, run it under cold water, and now you can cut your onion up and it holds back down on the tears from happening. Because everybody cries when they start dealing with onions. So I'm going to take that onion and I'm just going to take and plop that right into that mix. We're going to let that come right up to a boil. Okay? So I'm going to put these to side. And all we're going to do with these carrots is take about, whoopsie, there's some carrots for the dog. We're going to take about a half a bag of carrots and mix right into that. Just like that. Okay? Now, we're going to add a couple of spices to this, okay? Everybody to their own when it comes to the spices. But let me get them. I'll show you what we're going to put in here. Okay, what we're going to put in here is some garlic. It's not garlic powder. It's granulated. You can put some powder in there if you want to. And we're going to take about a teaspoon in there. Pop a duck teaspoon. And we're just going to mix in there with that. That's all. And we're going to take some ground cloves. Now these babies are strong in there cooking. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about a quarter teaspoon of Papa Duck's Paw, put that in there and get rid of the rest of it. And there's your flavor. Now we'll put that in there in a second. We're going to add it right to the mix as soon as we get this baby up to a boil. But first we're going to bring that ham bone up to a boil. I'll pull that bone out. I'll set it separately in the dish and then I'll put the mix into the juice and I'll put my green peas into that, my split ones. We're going to put, put that all together, bring it up to a hard boil while we stir it, keeping an eye on it so it doesn't burn, okay? And uh, while that's coming up, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get all the meat off my ham, we'll chop it all up into little bite-sized chunks and add that to it. And then this usually takes anywhere from three to four hours to cook. So, but I'll, I'll show you that as we get going. And uh, well, of course, we'll go in and out, and I'll do all this in a half hour so that you can see what's happening. But when you're cooking this, expect yourself to be cooking for about four hours. Enjoy, enjoy your kitchen. If you like a little glass of wine, have a glass of wine while you're cooking the pea soup. Here, now, why this is coming up to a boil, I want to fill you in. 